Very good. Let me see, Scarlet. Which piece? Which piece is moving, Scarlet? Which piece is moving? Is it the rook? E4 is going to open up the bishop and queen. The queen. Very good. Then if you play something like E5, this is a good move. That's a good developing move because you open up for your bishop and your queen. Next, if you see your opponent play something like this, bishop C4. That bishop is coming to attack what square? What square, Janelle? F7, and if the bishop attacks F7, the king will be in what? Check. Yes, very good. So if you play something like this, knight to C6, that's a good developing move, but it does not deal with the problem on F7, which means your opponent can play this move, queen to F3. Now the bishop is attacking f7, and who else is attacking f7? The queen. The queen. So you have to make sure that you protect f7. Because if you do something that ignores this, you did something like this, playing the bishop here, the next move that the queen is going to make is queen takes f7, and that is what? Neil, what do you like about chess? I like the seriousness. What do you like about playing chess? I moved this uh, one. Oh, I, mean, I mean, I moved the queen. The checkmate and getting and winning things. Okay, so you need to win? Like what kind of things? Queen to us. and medals. <laughs> Does it make you feel good when you win? What about when you don't win? How do, what do, you, how do you handle that? Um, be brave and never quit. Anaïs, what do you like about chess? kids really get to see that there is more than just the, the type of neighborhood or community that they live in and it's a positive interaction to see people you know from all different walks of the earth together working you know for one common cause and positive um, you know. uh, our kids are playing in the kindergarten through fifth grade beginning section so what have you seen so far from the kids how do you think the kids are responding to this opportunity um, I think it's a great experience. A lot of them are building their confidence as the rounds progress, and we're getting a few draws, a few wins. So, good what stuff. Did you see that victory skip? So, yeah, I think you won against a 14 year old? Huh? Very nice. That's just a skill that they need for life. Um, when you think about, you know, taking it back to like the standardized test perspective, a child is sitting there, they have what, four or five choices. A lot of times you have at least two or three choices that are very, very similar. And so now that 
um, skills and technique that they may have picked up in chess will help them to address that problem. Like, why is A a better choice than D? And those are the skills that we need. Even in just everyday problem solving life, I think they need to be able to quickly analyze a situation and make a decision and hopefully the best decision with the information they have at that time. And I think chess provides a great platform to start building those skill sets.